from the air, we see the airstrip of Kagabandoro, a small town in the middle of a central African republic. We are here to visit Christians who are trapped in a camp for displaced people at the end of the airstrip. 18,000 displaced people fled to this place, and all of them are Christians who were chased by their own Muslim neighbors and local groups of Muslim fighters. Christians here have suffered greatly and daily bring their burden before God. This part of the country is under control of ex Salika, a coalition of Islamic rebel militias. Since 2013, there has been a growing number of Christians displaced. Initially, many Christians decided not to flee, but to stay in their houses despite the dangers. That changed dramatically on October 12th last year. Pastor Enza is one of the pastors in this camp now. He and other pastors have built tents in the camp that serve as churches. This is where Christians find comfort. Many people have seen terrible things happen in front of their eyes. Everyone in this camp has his or her own story to tell. Some of them are using the little place they have to grow food. Pastor Paul is a teacher at a Bible college in Kagabandoro. On October 12th, he was teaching students in the classroom when Seleka fighters entered the school premises. Many Christians who live in parts of the country where Salika is dominant have to stay like this in a refugee camp. But many others are still living in their own houses, even though the situation is very tense. The displaced people expect safety in this camp because the airstrip is guarded by Blue Helmet soldiers of the UN, but they seem to mainly guard the airstrip and not so much the people. Many 
The plight of Christians in parts of the country where Seleka is dominant is not high on the agenda of the world. But here in the capital Bangui are high-profile Christians who do advocate for better protection for their brothers and sisters across the unofficial border. Cardinal Jodane Nzapalanga is leading the Catholic Church in the Central African Republic. He is disappointed that the UN is not doing more to protect Christians in Salika areas. The MINUSCA who are there, they are charged to protect. However, we constate a sometimes a deficit. On passe devant eux pour aller attaquer des populations qui n'ont rien et on les tue. Et nous dénonçons, nous condamnons cette vraiment nonchalance hein, à l'égard de protection des civils. Donc c'est leur rôle de protéger des civils. Ils ont tous reçu la mission de venir protéger des centrafricains et nous avons l'impression que certains ne veulent pas donner leur vie. Donc ils préfèrent parfois rester dans leur site. Même quand les assaillants arrivent, ils ne sortent pas pour s'interposer. Et ils restent plutôt. C'est quand les gens se sont affrontés qu'il y ait des morts, ils viennent compter et annoncer qu'il y a eu 30 morts. Et nous déplorons cette manière de faire.